The Vienna talks are all about places like this and what's going on in them, Iran's nuclear facilities. The U.S. and its allies say Iran's nuclear program is dangerous. Iran says it's peaceful. In Vienna, both sides will try to find common ground to secure a lasting deal, to build on the temporary one struck in November. The UN says so far Iran has kept its part of the bargain and suspended elements of its nuclear program. In return, the US and Western powers agreed to a limited rollback of some economic sanctions. What is the future of this deal? I think Iran will narrow things down by adhering to the agreement. All the sanctions were imposed based on the nuclear issue and if Iran further proves its activities are peaceful, the West cannot continue the sanctions. However, if the Western party insists on using the talks to introduce other issues, I think talks may reach a deadlock. The talks in Vienna are expected to last for months. And there are serious challenges, particularly those posed by the Israelis and Saudis, who want a tougher deal and want to end Iran's nuclear program not just limited, as suggested by the six powers involved in negotiations known as the P5 plus one. Some are interested in continuation of regional tension and don't like that Iran and the P5 plus one reached an agreement. They seek tension. I can name Israel's lobby as part of this, and especially Netanyahu himself. Also Saudi Arabia and some of its traditional allies are interested in the failure of talks. For Iran, failure is unacceptable. What's happening at the same time as these high-level talks are technical ones between Iran and the IAEA. That's the UN's Atomic Energy Agency. It's all part of a two-track approach. And these technical talks focus on what Iran may or may not have done in the past. Iran has made seven commitments to the IAEA to clear up any outstanding issues by May. Both sides hope this can boost confidence building in Vienna and the prospects of a lasting political peace. Soraya Leni, Al Jazeera, Tehran.